Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this LED bulb that has a built-in PIR sensor and I'm hoping to use this as a security light. Now they sell this in two different models. One of them is sound activated and one of them is motion activated and this one is the motion activated one. So let's open it up and take a look. Now this is meant to be a 5 watt bulb and we are going to test that. The idea is that you screw this in like a regular light bulb and whenever anyone comes near they trigger the sensor and the light turns on. So it should make quite a good little security light, although it wouldn't compare with say a big halogen floodlight. It should do in most circumstances. And it does have a light sensor built in so that during the day it won't be triggered by people walking past. It will only light up at night time and when triggered. And for anyone curious, I got this on Lazada, but it came from China. So I think it took around a month. Now the problem with ordering things from China on Lazada is that a lot of the time the seller cancels after a few weeks and then Lazada refund you, which takes another week or two. So it can be really frustrating buying stuff abroad on Lazada because most of the time it doesn't come. But this time I got lucky. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug it into my watt meter and see if it really is 5 watts. So let me change to watts, screw in our bulb, and then I'll cover the bulb. Okay, so you can see that it's actually just around 2.7 watts. And I knew that this was not 5 watts because I tested this earlier and I could see that, yeah, that's not 5 watts of light. So yeah, there you go, more like 2.7 watts. Now you might be thinking, didn't I just say that this won't come on in bright light? Well, the first time you screw it in, it will turn on, but then it won't come on again until nighttime comes. And one thing that you probably notice there is the flicker. Now that is mostly the camera, but there is also a noticeable flicker to the human eye. It's very barely visible, but you can see that it's not a high quality bulb. For instance, if you put this next to a Philips LED bulb, you'll notice that there's a slight flicker, even if it's such a high frequency that you can barely see it, you do notice it. Now, since this is gonna be a security light outdoors for me, I don't really mind if it's, you know, 100% perfect, as long as it actually works, that when someone walks by, it lights up. So let's put this outside and see if it actually works. So you saw it out in the driveway and it worked pretty well. I probably would have liked if it had a bit of a wider area to cover, but it's good enough for my specific use there. But what I could do if I wanted a slightly better coverage, for instance, just past the driveway, I could use something like this to put a slight angle on the bulb and that would probably do it. Now, I don't mind because I'm actually quite happy with the coverage as it is now, but if I wanted to, I could use something like this just to set it off a little bit. What would have been perfect is if they'd made that little PIR sensor on a little swivel so you could just direct it a little bit, but it's good enough for me. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.